Hello guys, Apollo here. Let's just get this rolling along. Okay. Trying to get this to work. Hello guys, Apollo here. Uh, I normally do music video, like the PMVs, but I thought this time I'm going to do an unboxing video. Uh, this one is Loot Crate. You can kind of, sorry, right, right there, Loot Crate. Uh, this week, this month's theme was Unite. So, and based off of the, oh, just adjusted my camera there. Um, Based off the ads and the emails, uh, I'm guessing there's going to be at least something Power Rangers involved, and probably a lot of Avengers stuff. Now, normally, this box shows up about 10 days into the next month. I actually had to cancel my subscription in order for them to actually give me my box, my crate, three days before the end of the month. So, just letting you know that if you guys are in Canada, like I am, this is a very, very rare occurrence, and you, for the most part, will be looking, getting your boxes up to two weeks after your American friends. So, that being said, let's do an unopening. Just gonna cut there. Okay. Looks like everything. Oh, Dutch angles. All right. So, yeah, here we go. Uh, they've also been take like doing these uh, designs on the inside of the boxes as well. Myself, well, as you can see over there, uh, I got a lot of boxes and subscription things that I like. Okay, so first thing is the T-shirt. I called it. There we go, Power Rangers. And it is, in all honesty, a kind of a really badass shirt. It is White Ranger and Green Ranger shirt. That is super cool. Definitely going to be wearing that. Uh, next up is Avengers. I'm just going to rotate that. Yeah, Avengers Ice Cube Trays. Uh looks to be actually it's just no it's just marvel uh just open this up here see if i can spot some of the characters box over there all right so we have two captain americas two iron mans two things and iron fist Or is it the, it's either Iron Fist or the Thing's Fist for punching. So, one of the two. Um, they kind of really don't match up together properly, but that's not Loot Crate's fault. That's the manufacturer's fault, so that's kind of weird. Here we go. We got a Rick and Morty puzzle. Show you right there. Uh, looks like it's a 300 piece puzzle, 11 by 14 uh, in inches, or for the Canadians, we are looking at just under, uh, so about 28 centimeters by 35 and a half. Um, haven't really watched Rick and Morty, so I'm not too sure who any, I'm guessing Rick and Morty are the characters inside the saucer. Um, but other than that, not a bad little puzzle. Just don't really know the characters. Red versus blue. Also, balloonicorn, balloonicorn. Got red and blue. And, well, that one's sandwich. And red and blue up at the top. 
set of four buttons. And Loot Crate Exclusive. So you won't be able to find these unless you are a Loot Crate subscriber. Uh, we got Marvel black and white shoelaces. Okay. Uh, this is oh, the book. They always come with a book of all the different things. Not going to go too much into detail because there's still a couple things left. Oh, here we go. We got an Age of Ultron card decal. Which is kind of cool. Uh, it's black and white, which is nice because my car is red. And so I could totally put that on there. Not a big Avenger. Like, I like the Avengers, but not to the point of I'll probably end up putting these on. Um, yeah, that's not bad. Uh, we got a special edition Loot Crate uh, Mad Magazine. Which isn't, that's not that bad. Now, the funny thing is, uh, the guy who played Ivan Drago, um, Jason Momoa, I've actually met him before at a Stargate convention. So, if he shows up to my local uh, Comic Con here in September, I'm totally going to get him to sign this. Because that's really awesome. And then, uh, then the, the pricing on eBay will go up as well. So, that's pretty cool. Definitely going to get Jason Momoa to sign that. And... Oh. Button. There's always a button in these packages. Uh, this one looks like it's Batman and Superman, and they're shaking hands. That's kind of cool. I'm not sure if anyone actually wears the buttons. Uh, and the last item is a limited edition collector's Loot Crate exclusive Bravest Warriors comic book. Number one. They actually so it's a number one, so I can actually start reading this without having to understand the plot line of what's going on beforehand. Which is pretty cool. Now the inside of the box. Because they've always been doing these uh little mirrorgrams and little dioramas. So it looks like, so it's just kind of, oh yeah, yeah, there's, there's special stuff to it, okay. And then it says cut here, I guess it's supposed to be a bench, but because I'm not going to be cutting the box, well I'm going to be ending up cutting the box to, well, either throw it out, or if I'm going to save it, I can use it for shipping. name and everything is kind of on there but they shipped it priority airmail this time normally I'm gonna have to look at one of my other boxes but I think that they've been shipping it ground for the longest time and I think that's why I always get my boxes like, like, like almost a month afterwards okay let's just put that in there for now Okay, so that looks like that's a vent, and there's the actual diorama itself, and so we got our standard up, up, down, down, left, right, B, A, start, we got the white ranger helmet, cat bug, because cat bug is cool, uh, Captain America, guessing the coat and jacket are Rick and Morty, then we have our red versus blue icons. So there's the door for blue and door for red. Alrighty. And that's it. Oh, it's a locker room. I got it. Okay. And that's it. Um, myself, 
Uh, with this, I spent about 50 bucks, well, like 38 45 around that with shipping. And with the stuff that I got, there's actually a lot of exclusive items in here. So uh, with the shirt itself, I'm just going to show you again. Like, that, how badass is that? That's cool. And it's in the actual... For someone who actually understand or can read Japanese, please let me know what it says. I'm guessing up at the top that I'm guessing it's Power Rangers, green, white, and that one. That's what I really want to know what that says. Uh, hit me up for that. Now the shirt I would put at about I would pay about twenty five dollars for this. 25 not bad it's in large it's gonna fit nice I'm gonna actually wear this today when I go out uh, the loot crate specific uh, bravest warriors most comics issues ones especially for kids comics I'd say about four dollars now because it's a loot crate exclusive I would say six just be nice, six bucks. Uh, most Mad Magazines are about seven dollars where I am. Um, but because this is a collector's one, there's no real price point on it. And the funny thing is, it was printed in Canada, sent down to the States to come back to Canada. That's pretty funny. Um, so, I don't, I can't really put a price point on that. I'll say five dollars. Age of Ultron uh, collector stickle uh, stickle sheet yeah stickle uh, decal sheet uh, say five bucks that's about an average five bucks that's the book don't need to worry about that the uh, okay so the the buttons everything is Dutch angles it's like I'm in a uh, indie film here. Uh, at a convention to get stuff like this, I'd say four, maybe fifteen dollars for the for the buttons. Just well, unicorn, blue unicorn. That's pretty cool. I'd say about fifteen. Rick and Morty puzzle. Um, Don't swim. Uh, I'd say six bucks. Most puzzles are about that, especially if it's 300 pieces. Small container, six bucks. And then the ice cube tray. I'm gonna say, let's see if there's an actual price point on these. Sometimes they put prices on them, sometimes they don't. Uh, all right, so it's hand wash only. Do not place an oven, microwave, dishwasher, or hot water. Don't put this in hot water, but hot water freezes quicker than cold than cooler water. So I'd say ten dollars. So I paid about say forty-five. And I got 10, 16, 20. Thirty-six, and then I said the twenty-five on top. So I'm looking about sixty-one dollars with of stuff that I paid about forty, say forty-five. So I got fifteen dollars more than, like fifteen dollars worth more than what I spent. So it's not bad based off of some of the other unboxers they kind of want you doing around like almost double they want you to at least double the amount um so it's not bad uh would i resubscribe to them probably not just because i had like just being with them for over a year and oh i forgot the shoelaces yeah 
So sixteen dollars. So about so say three bucks for that. So yeah, about eighteen dollars is what I got extra. Um, but again, yeah. So being with them for over a year, and every for every month for about twelve or thirteen months. Yeah, about twelve months. This is being my thirteenth. Um, I got my loot crates about around the 10th to the 12th of the next month so after all it does get kind of eh, when people in Britain get theirs before Canada does um, there I do subscribe to other companies I have geek fuel and my geeky goodies I did my geeky goodies or like I opened it up already so I can't do the unboxing uh, but when my Geek Fuel shows up, I'm going to do the unboxing on that one as well. So, overall of this month, Loot Crate, not bad, but I'm not going to continue with them. I, I'm, I found other, other boxes, other, uh, other companies, and I didn't have to cancel in order to get my stuff quicker. So, overall, I would say 6 out of 10 for the box. But three out of yeah six out of ten for the box, and about four three and a half four out of ten for the company overall for shipping to Canada. All right, Tura.